Hi everybody, Chef Duncan here. How are you guys? Um, we are in the middle of France in this beautiful little caravan, gypsy caravan. It's great. Um, and we're going to show you how to make pancakes in time for Shrove Tuesday tomorrow. You want to make your batter today because you want um, it to rest in the fridge overnight. That way your glutens will um, relax. You won't get as chewy a pancake. Also, a lot of the air bubbles will go so you don't want a big fluffy American style pancake. We're making true British pancakes here. No fluffy, no um, bicarbonate of soda, no maple syrup, none of that malarkey. Deep fried bacon on top, no, that wouldn't need that. Proper English, British pancakes. So these are the ingredients. Flour, plain white flour, um, 50 grams per egg. Egg, medium organic egg. Salt, we need a pinch of salt in the batter. Um, milk, uh, we're gonna just be adding that gradually so not don't need to measure that out so much. Um, oil and butter for, to melt in the pan and cook with. And then we're gonna top it with lemon and sugar. Only can get sugar cubes at the moment, so I'm gonna grind them down. Um, but you can obviously use any other topping you like. So shall we get started? Do you wanna come in? Right, we do, um, don't really have the luxury of me measuring things in this um, lovely little caravan because I don't seem to have that. So instead of doing that, I'm going to do it slightly backwards. Put a shell got in there. Oh dear. Shocking. While he's getting that out. Hi, Xanthi. How are you doing down there? What are you doing? Are you trying to wear that on your head? Is that what? Is that your hat? Out? Yes. Oh, what a lovely hat. Is that is that so everyone knows that you're the sous chef? Yeah. Yep. Right, back to here. Whisk the egg. <laughs> Do you know why I've got the giggles today? I think it's because it's, um, you're worried about the end of our trip. <laughs> right, that goes in there. Normally, you probably put the flour in first and add the egg to the flour, but because... I'm doing it backwards because I can't measure things. I'm going to do it this way around. I'm going to add flour to egg. Don't bother sieving, waste of time, generally speaking. Uh, they used to sieve to get weevils out of things and then people just carried on because they thought it was the right thing to do. Don't bother. Um, unless you're doing really fancy like French patisserie type stuff. But we're not doing that. We're making pancakes. Hi to everyone watching. Say hi below and where you're watching from. So you want to have... Um, enough flour, I mean as I say 50 grams per egg is probably right, you won't have to worry about this kind of style that I'm doing here. You want it to um, to be quite thick at this stage, you want to kind of, it's kind of like a bit like a roux when you're making a roux sauce, which maybe you know not. I have no idea, maybe we should do a roux guide okay. one day. Yep, okay. Oh, are you coming to help? Of course you are. Not sure if helps the right word, but destroy. Yep. Who else cooks at home with toddlers? Let us know in the comments below. It can be interesting. Though we tried a donut with her earlier because someone gave it to her in a, the patisserie, and it wasn't a huge hit. She threw it on the floor. Hmm. It made her hands dirty. She didn't like that. <laughs> I don't know how she's our child sometimes. Right, so a so, bit more. So this is a. So what kind of consistency are you looking for? Well, this is what I was just about to say. So, <coughs> it's quite thick now. It's starting to, it's starting to put a bit of effort in when it comes to stirring it. And as you can see, it's kind of, you know, dollopy. Okay. Right. So if you were to just get the 50 grams of flour and add one egg to it, you'd probably get something quite similar to that. Then I'm going to start adding milk. So... I never really um, weigh things out, measure things out. It's not my style. But I, with baking, you tend to have to. This is somewhere halfway between the two. Um, but with this, I just add milk until it gets to the, to the right texture. This is uh, full fat milk. Um, in Europe, they seem to only want to sell you UHT milk. So that's what this is. But um, at home, just use normal milk. It needs to be quite runny, this. Because you're going to pour it. Oh, 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 oh. Yeah. 
Oh, you wanted to stand up so you could help. I see. That's an eggshell, Dante. Do you want to give it a stir? No, don't put the eggshell in there. <laughs> give that a stir. Yeah, well done. That's Great brilliant. skills. So look, now we've got it into kind of nice, runny consistency. Let me see, you're going to come in. I'm just going to add a pinch of salt to that. It's quite coarse salt. You really want quite fine salt, but that's, yeah, look like what you've got. But it just shows that you can cook anywhere if we can cook in here. You'll see on our great hob in a second that we've got. Well, the hob is very reminiscent of um, our time in Portugal last year. It's in fact, I think the exact same one. So I quite have got fond memories of that. So there we are. And not the sugar cubes, Anthony, maybe. No. All right, so here we are. I've got a frying pan. This is a frying pan, for those who don't know. Um, it's been on a medium heat, so it's hot. I'm going to put a bit of oil in. I would, this is olive oil. I would normally use cooking oil, a, a sunflower oil or vegetable oil because they have a higher burn rate, which means they can get to a high temperature before they burn. Um, but we obviously have to deal with what we've got. Knob of butter. Lovely big knob of butter. Cover the entire thing. We're on a bit of a slope here. <laughs> it's interesting being <laughs> in a caravan on a slope. Um, the reason why you put oil and butter in it is together, what, separately they might burn, together they won't. Oh, I didn't know that. Um, I should do from filming you all the time. Oh, sorry, I just got you. And we want the butter for flavour, we want the oil to stop it from burning. We've got a whisk ready to help. I'm going to get a ladle. Ladle. I'm coming. Ah, this is also quite high up, so it's <laughs> unusual. There we go. Maybe two ladle falls on, on there. I always remember, let us know your favourite um, pancake day or Shrove Day Tuesday memories. Mine was always doing this, and then we were probably quite mean. My great uncle Harry lived with us, and we used to try and get them on his head. <laughs> and he was bored. It didn't hurt though. He had a cap on and we'd try and get them to land on his head. He, he this is, it. These don't get particularly hot, these things. You probably want it hotter than this because you want it to be bubbling and hot. Um, so this might take slightly longer because it's not very hot. Um, just move it, around the, move it around the edge so it's nice and even. When it gets to a place where it's kind of almost done, a bit longer, put some up as high as it goes. We're going to try and toss it. So it should be much quicker at home. Oh, this normally takes nanoseconds. <laughs> <laughs> um, when you do more than one pancake, which most people do, um, oh, she's eating the butter. Oh. <laughs> How's the butter, Zanth? Is it tasty? When you, yeah, when you do more than one pancake, it's like you want to refresh the oil and butter each time you do a pancake because they get absorbed in each one. Um, I'm going to try and toss this now without doing any trip damage. Oh, 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 oh error. error. Went wrong and it was undercooked. Where's the <laughs> dog when you need it? Like, if you blame the heat for that, it's not hot enough. You need it hot. <laughs> that's, I mean, I could put my hand on that. That's enough. quite worrying. But that's how you do a pancake. <laughs> <laughs> <Or not. laughs> so we might, we'll make another one and we'll put the um, recipe and the ingredients below. Has anyone got any questions? Or maybe to ask how we didn't, do a trial of this before so Duncan wasn't quite sure how hot it would get. No, we only just got here so it was kind of like we needed to do a video quickly and here we are. <laughs> well, do you want to give us a wave? Bye. Bye, Zanthi. Bye. Bye, Duncan. Bye. Bye. Bye.